tonight on Big Brother. Big Brother has decided it is time for you to earn your keep. The cruelest task of all. Big Brother, this is filthy. While one works alone, the others party. <laughs> as Big Brother plays his biggest prank yet. The rest of you will not work at all. And intruder Ava intruding on Michael's nerves. I just think she's silly and I don't want her in the house anymore. A new intruder has spent her first night in the house. Delilah, an animal shelter stray looking for a home, goes straight to Zoe, the person elected to take charge of her welfare in the house. In the backyard are the charred results of some mischief making by the other pet in the house. A jealous Surly the fish got Michael to burn Layla's hair rollers after hearing her say the dog would become the house favourite. What's the go with the mutt? Delilah. Stupid name. Stupid animal. Michael was only supposed to burn the plastic rollers, but he put the designer bag in the fire as well. A limited edition Burberry given to Layla by a wealthy friend. after the prank doesn't seem so funny what's that on there yeah. that tinfoil thing yeah. tinfoil oh that oh oh in it there's like a comb hair comb a hair roller what a hair roller huh? my hair roller one of them oh my god it's my comb it's your whole hair roller bag did, they, did Big Brother burn it? Is he playing funny? Is he playing tricks? Oh my god. Something must have happened in the washing last night. No, my what? hair roller bag was in the bathroom. My hair roller bag That's is next to a bed. No, okay. no. It's, what? Big Brother wouldn't do that, would he? Did someone in this house do it then? Something must have happened. No, check if it's the whole bag. Is, is it, it the yeah, whole bag? That'll explain why the washing was all tied up like that. It wasn't the washing over there. Yeah, it was all tied up over there. What's going on? No, because the hair roller bag was in the bathroom. <laughs> I feel terrible. <laughs> I did it in my dreams last night. Like I was just sleepwalking and now it's reality. And I feel terrible. <laughs> What's happened? I have no idea, babe. How do you know it's that whole bag? It's got the Burberry bag and everything half melted in it. Yeah, the Burberry bag's there. You can see the Burberry bag there and you can see the rollers. And there's the hairbrush. Oh, whatever. I might even ask. But then there's pine cones in there as well. So we someone's put them. pine cones in to burn it. But they can't do that. Michael's reward for his surly task was anti-dandruff shampoo he'd been requesting for weeks. Now, it's just an interesting fact that Michael got this shampoo this morning yeah. and he was asked to trade and something for the shampoo. The night, no, but I never traded anything. And everyone was like, oh, I'll trade something. And I was like, it's no. an incinerated bag of rollers. It's okay, just I all I can say is that Michael set fire to your <laughs> rollers <laughs> so that he could have this shampoo. I asked for it like three days ago. <laughs> I don't want it, big brother. Michael, we know you never do that. Until we know exactly what's happened, let's pretend it hasn't happened because yeah. it is upsetting Layla and it's not fair. Yeah, we need yeah. to let it. Oh no, so, I'm over for it. I'm over no, 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 it's fine. It's a drainer though, drainer. Anyway, we've got plenty of other things we can talk about. So I'm wondering if there's a flash of lightning, maybe there's something lightning here, something that's why the clothes are involved or something like that. Oh yeah, what a coinky dink. Then I'd go in the diary room and Big Brother say, Layla, last night there was a thunder Storm and the lightning hit your rollers. Next <laughs> it's been a rough start to the day, and it's about to get worse. This week's task is the factory, a dose of real life. 
a grim workplace that will occupy hours of their time and a task with a cruel twist for one of the unsuspecting housemates. Oh, the factory! Oh! Oh, no. What are we doing? We're numbers. Oh, and keys. Oh, no, we're going to have to work in the factory. Yeah, I know. Housemates. <laughs> As your landlord, Big Brother has decided it is time for you to earn your keep. This week, you will all work in the factory. To pass this week's task, all you have to do is shift work in the factory to Big Brother's satisfaction. Today's job is weighing and bagging manure for Queensland farmers. Oh, no. <laughs> Each bag must weigh exactly 200 grams. <laughs> Housemates. We can do it. You have five minutes to get dressed into your workers' uniforms. Additional information. Yes. yes. In individual workstations, you will each complete a two-hour shift. Wow. Housemates must not remove their overalls until all workers have finished their shift. Gotcha. So we're dressed in overalls all day. <laughs> each worker has a number. And number one is the unlucky number. This is Big Brother. Worker number one, your shift has started. Please take your key, enter the factory, unlock factory door one, and enter it immediately. Delilah! 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 Delilah. 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 Good girl, yeah, good, good girl. girl. Delilah! Oh, no! Oh, ha, 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 ha. Big brother, this is filthy. The only comfort on this assembly line is music played through headphones. Oh. For the next few hours, factory worker Sam will be bagging manure, blissfully unaware that he is the brunt of an elaborate joke that his fellow housemates are about to be let in on. It doesn't look like it smells good because he is not happy. Housemates, you are looking at Sam, hard at work. Yeah. Yes. yes. Hard, Jacka. Yep. As worker number one, he faces a long day of hard grind and manure bagging. Yeah. Housemates, Sam is not competing in this week's real task. <gasps> Shut off. No way. Shut off. No way. What a sucker. Shut off. We need to wait till we see what we have. Oh, that's so funny. That's so funny. <gasps> this week's real task is for the rest of you to bludge work and get away with it. <laughs> This I do this, this on a daily basis. Do now listen carefully. Yes, Only worker one will be required to complete their shift each day. The rest of you will not work at all. <laughs> you will all party all day. Yes! You will fail this week's task if worker one discovers you have not been working. Oh, okay. Sam's cramped working quarters are a stark contrast to what Big Brother has waiting for his fellow housemates in the backyard. I feel really bad for him. Will Layla's love for Sam and chocolate blow the secret and fail the task? Keeping them will give you chocolate, but it's evidence. Factory worker Sam is busy bagging manure. 
convinced his fellow housemates of doing the same in the neighbouring cubicles. Instead, they're partying like there's no tomorrow. It's their part of the task. If Sam finds out he's the only one sweating each day, they fail. This one must eventually end. Too much feasting at the candy buffet and too long on the jolly jump could make it harder for the housemates next part of the task. And they already have a problem. There's a heap of candy and chocolate leftovers they want to keep, but Sam must not see them, otherwise the game will be up. Like it's a risk though, and that's what everyone needs to know. Keeping them will give you chocolate, but it's evidence. I was going to keep mine full and give it Sam. I feel really bad for him. Mm. Can I brush my teeth? Yeah. <sighs> this is Big Brother. Benjamin, take your housemates to factory door four now. You know what to do. Outside, all evidence of the party is quickly removed. The next few minutes are the real test of the task. The partying housemates must go into the factory, dirty up, and convince the hard-working Sam that they've been working just as hard. If they don't, they fail. This is Big Brother. Worker number one, your shift is over. Yes. Exit the factory and hang up your key. Thank you, big brother. You. Oh. Sam thinks the others are in the factory bagging away, but one by one they will finish their shifts and join him outside. I love you. Just hurt my back standing up. Yeah. I'm just not only am I absolute fuzz, but I'm just not gonna talk about it. There you go. I'm claustrophobic. Oh yeah? Yeah, so I don't like it. <laughs> oh. Did I you... found it really therapeutic. Did you? Yeah. I actually really liked it listening to music. I was able to calm down. Oh, apparently we can't talk about it. Oh my God. Are you all right? Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? Oh, I was just a drain, I want it. I liked it. Oh? Uh? I liked it. It was therapeutic. Mm. Yeah, it's all right. I'm bored and tired. You were. My yeah. back just hurt just because Yeah, because you're still so like this, aren't you? Yeah. And then your back's like, like yeah, same. Like, ah. You get to lock on your abs. I was frothing, eh? Hey? I was frothing. I loved it, bro. I was so, like solitude. You bro. know what? I, yeah, I was so relaxed. Did you, you have know? tunes? Yeah. Yeah, what did you have? Like Cafe Del Mar. Oh, it's sick. therapeutic, hey? Oh, definitely, man. Definitely. Oh, is there suds in here? Yeah. How'd you go? Yeah, off that. Wasn't that bad. How'd you go? No headband. What? No headband? Yeah. My hair just kept falling down front, and I'm just like. <sighs> <laughs> And every time I move my head, more hair, and eventually it was just like this, and it's just tickling my nose, and I'm just like, <laughs> but um, I had a cut on my hand there, and it was just like, oh my god, this hurts. Like I'm like, this doesn't feel good. No. And I got it in there, and it started burning, and I was going, this is the worst. 
This is the worst. In the factory when they were hiding from Sam, Josh told Estelle to shush up. It upset her. Um, I hope you don't think I was having to go at just you in the thing. Well, it kind of felt like it. Cause I, was, I kicked Brad and I told me. Brad to shut up plenty of times as well. Yeah. It's just that uh, I don't... Just felt like the way like you directed it at me. I'm like, well, I'm saying something plausible. You dog. <laughs> but he just apologised. He said the exact same thing to it's me. Just, it's just, just probably angry. me being sensitive the way I took it. it just... Yeah. I just think, Stell, you're always an easy target, and that's because just like people just... I just feel like the more fun I have, people are just trying to cut me down in here. The more that I do, the happier I am. People just try and cut me down. Mm. You know, I'm not like everyone else and that's okay. I'm happy to be myself and be me. I'm not hurting anyone else with what I'm doing, but it's when... But can I give you some constructive criticism? You know? The constructive criticism is exactly what I always say to you and just, still be yourself. Being yourself in the house is why you're still here. Have but I that's ever what... hurt anyone with what I'm doing? No, you've never hurt anyone, but it's ever. just that particular behaviour of I'll wear this the way that no. I want to, I'll say this the way that I want to. All it's of that just... stuff that makes you Estelle it's and that's why me. you're in the competition. To the people in this house, not the people watching this show, it just means that you're always exposed. So, like, if you want to be the person that always stands out from the crowd, be, be that person. person. I, just, I know you're not. You're not trying to be anything. <laughs> not trying to be anything. I, I know. don't bitch about people. I'm courteous. To people. I wouldn't speak to people how they speak to me, even when they are absolute bitches to me. I don't fight back because I don't want to. Because it's not me. It's just common courtesy is all it takes. Like I'm. Yeah, I understand you and I watch you every day and I'm That's just saying... That's all, I wouldn't do anything to put anyone in position. I'm mm. not that selfish, you know. And like, you're not that intentional. I would never intentionally do anything and I'm aware of all these things. I just... I wonder if she actually, like, dislikes everyone in this house. Oh. And then just sort of is playing the game to the, t to the umpteenth. I just believe that she loves to play the woe is me card. Yeah. Everybody's against me. Comfort pod. I have, I have the, I've come from the hardest background. I've, I've dealt, I've, I've overcome the most, I've, you know. Michael is also annoyed with Estelle after she told him off for repeating a racist joke while he was trying to make a point about how wrong it was. Not funny, Michael. Michael, you've told that joke twice now and it wasn't funny the first time. She's just so thick, like she just thought I was saying it to, like, so like, it's like, it's like, it's like if racism. I was talking about how my grandfather, you know, escaped from Auschwitz. She's like, that's really offensive, you know, the Nazi camps. And I'm like, I know, only through talking about it can we realise that things are offensive and, yeah. you know, that there's, that there's wrongdoing yeah. Yeah. occurring. Yeah. So annoying! <laughs> I just want to go and... I just want to have a debate. You would kill a debate, man. It's a debate with Estelle. But I don't want to attack the girl. Still to come, Layla's love. I've still uh, got the door open in the hopes of finding Prince Charming. And what's happened to the captain's quarters? To save Estelle, call 1902-559505, SMS Estelle to 1995999 or vote on Facebook. So I mean good, good kid. Housemates don't know it yet, but their job will be to find Delilah a new home from a number of families selected by the Queensland Animal Welfare League. Okay, Delilah. Sit down. Oh, good girl. Good girl. In the meantime, okay. Chief Caregiver Zoe is attending to her every need. Delilah has been a delight coming into this house. It also came at a perfect time for Zoe. I think Zoe feels as though she doesn't have a, a pair or a mate in this house. And she is close to me, but I'm not that sort of a person. I like to spread myself across more than one person. I am there for Zoe, but having this dog and having her in charge has been really good for Zoe because it's given her a chance to be like, it's my turn to shine, and I'm, she's naturally good at being um, uh, the caretaker for a dog. 
nice to have a little sneaky kiss. Yeah, it's nice. So nice. Is he a good kisser? Amazing. <laughs> Sam and Layla are keeping a low profile when it comes to their budding romance. It's so hot. It's like my perfect time. But I've still got my mindset. I want to leave this house single and ready to mingle. In the hopes of finding Prince Charming, I've still uh, got the door open for the frog to jump in, but I don't think. What if you fall in love with him? No. You need to teach me your ways, how you get these boys, what do you do? I see you flirting and stuff, but I don't know how to do it, you always. <laughs> you at, flirty, flirty. at first, I didn't flirt though. Yeah, you did. A little bit. I watched you. It's time for this week's Captain's Challenge. As the winner of last week's challenge, Josh has been given the role of referee. All right, housemates, it's time to get off your head. We can do that, Stacey! I love this. The winners of this challenge will receive a night to be remembered in the captain's quarters. This week you are competing in teams of two. Housemates must now decide the teams amongst themselves. Once done. you've done that, you've got five minutes to get you <laughs> and come back. Angie. Yeah. Angie, we're winning this. <laughs> Good girl. Bradley and Michael have paired up and heard that Benjamin and Stacey are keen to win this week after numerous past failures. I think if it comes down to me and you and Ben and Stacker, that would be interesting. We should, I'd probably throw it to let them go. Hey, Delilah. My theme today is Tom Cruise. I'm gonna win. Good. Mission Impossible. For this challenge, one team member must balance a board on their head, whilst the other builds a tower using as many blocks as possible. The team who uses the most blocks to build their tower wins. Ava and Estelle, you're up first. Steady spaghetti and go. Time is ticking, Ava. Each block is shaped differently and must stay in position to count. Go, Ava. Grab arms full, arms full. Crazy, just grab Seven, your arms full, stick them on. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Time up. Your score is eight, ladies. We can do this. We can totally do this. Okay. Tell me when. Ready, steady spaghetti, go. Oh, so. Two, one, time up, step away. Well played, ready boy. Earlier, Bradley and Michael talked about throwing the challenge. Step away. <laughs> Three, two, one. Woo! Oh. Oh. Fifteen. He's so tall and long. Five, four, three, two, one. Step away from the block. Oh my goodness, that's fantastic. 17, 18, 19. 19. The winners of today's challenge, Layla Rosembo. Congratulations. Thank you, guys. I'm happy for you. Benjamin will now be the only housemate yet to set foot in the captain's quarters. We're, oh my God, like <laughs> We're so upset. We need this so bad. We needed this. Oh, competitive. <laughs> this is Big Brother. Hi, Big Sam, boy. take the captain's hat and wear it with pride. During last night's storm, the captain's quarters was raided by pirates, leaving a trail of destruction in their path. Challenge winners Layla and Sam must sleep outside in the elements and survive on rations of Spam, baked beans and canned spinach. Sam and Layla, 
go directly to the captain's quarters. Yay. Enjoy. Yay. Yay. Stacey, do you know what? We are winners. Do you know why we are winners? Do you know why we are winners? Because we lose the best out of anyone. Oh, oh, you're oh my kidding. God. Sure. We have to sleep. We have to sleep. Really? <laughs> That's awesome. No. Yeah. The remaining housemates are about to bear witness to the disaster. It's okay. Oh, yes. Sofa. 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 Sam, Layla. Hello, this isn't funny. Oh, dear. It appears that the captain's quarters has been pillaged by pirates. It has. Oh well, enjoy your night. You're kidding. Oh my gosh. Why is he doing this to me? I'm going to be freezing. No, this is so much fun. How? I actually feel really bad. Did you know this is happening? I feel really bad. Did you know? I feel really bad, so no one ever. He's pulling our leg. He's not. Yeah, that's a lot of fire. Come away. Yeah. How? Oh, there. This is actually really nice. It's kind of romantic. Yeah. I feel terrible. <laughs> oh. Um. Big Brother, why do we always come second? You know? We try so hard, even though we've failed, we still get out there and we put our best effort in. And when we come second, we cheer on our fellow housemates, even though I have a rage inside of me that makes me want to cry. But then it was horrific seeing poor little Lele in there, and the poor little face. She's probably having the time of her life. Yeah. They probably might be on a desert island to be like that episode of Castaway, but in those boxes, it's like Madonna DVDs. True. Hopefully not swept away. Oh, no. I hope the that's waste. been swept away. The waste. The waste of the waste. And the waste of... Next, Ava's breaking point. It's the one thing that's really hammering me in this house, like... And Benjamin's warning for Michael. You look like you're some spoiled brat who's complaining because your friend's going to play with someone else. To save Angie, call 1902 SMS Angie to 199 or vote on Facebook. Yeah, I feel sorry for Layla. She genuinely looked really upset. Yeah, she did. And she did just get her hair rollers burnt this morning. <sighs> Oh my god, she's had the worst day. Yeah. The way you and I like thinking that it's planned, but it couldn't be. After much speculation, the housemates still don't know it's actually Michael who's responsible for burning Layla's hair rollers. I actually think that those hair rollers had to have been outside and someone jumped over and burnt them. Someone jumped over the fence. And burnt them in no, the fire. No, no. No, they'd never let that Can happen I to us. Can I make a comment? The rollers were next to the bed when I was cleaning. Put the rollers next so to Layla's So how did they stuff. get out there? When was that? Last night. Oh, that was only just last night. I went to bed. I, so know, I, know, I know who destroyed them. Mm. Do you? I woke up last night and I saw someone go out of the bedroom. Yeah, that was me. Michael, because no, Big wasn't. Brother called him in. No, it wasn't you. Oh. I would rather no? walk out of here than destroy anything. Yeah. So does anybody not like me in the house? No. Okay. Good. You got no reason to not like you. I've done nothing wrong yet. I'm happy that Sam and Ava have come in. Well, I'm happy Sam's come in. <laughs> You're funny. Ava's just a bit boring. Well, I think she's also um. What would be hard for you guys is she's made Josh a bit boring as well. Yeah, that too. She's sort of taken Josh out of the action a bit. Yeah. Ava has been warned by Big Brother numerous times today for not wearing a microphone, and his patience is wearing thin. This is Big Brother. Ava, Big Brother doesn't like broken promises. You promised never to speak without your microphone again. This has been noted and will be dealt with. That is all.
Big Brother, please. Are you serious? I'm really upset now. If he tries to put you in the naughty room, do you know what I'm going to say? That's okay by you, Big Brother, because you, you're a good man. No, I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> It's not fair. I, I feel like it's not fair. And I wouldn't say that ordinarily. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it's not fair. Yeah. I've been in there four times and all of them I deserved. Ava, don't. You I might. just want to talk to him because yeah, I'm upset. Have a She's off it. Yeah. Off it. Ava. She's okay. She's just lost her mind. What can Big Brother do for you? I'm just still really upset, that's all. What about? Just, um, about the fact that I, um, was speaking without my mic. Um, I understand what just happened just now. Um, I'm just really, really disappointed in myself. I'm just upset because I'm I was really looking forward to I'm being a sook. Don't worry. You were looking forward to what, Ava? Just like, I'm bonding really well with the females in the house and for the first time today, um, you know, when people are looking at me in the house, um, I actually feel like a housemate and not an intruder. Um, and people are really seeing me um, and speaking with me in the house today. It's the one thing that's really hammering me in this house. Like, it's the worst. I'm just really, can I just have a moment, please? You can take as much time as you need in the diary room, Ava. What did he say? Uh, I don't want to talk about it really. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Neither. What happened? Michael. How are you? How are you going? Oh, I'm good. Is, are you sure that Ava's 29? Positive. Are you worried about her crying? No, I just think she's silly and I don't want her in the house anymore. She doesn't like talking about things because they make her feel uncomfortable. And sort of just sits there, sort of just kisses Josh. And then she sort of just goes over here and it's like, feelings and emotion. Josh, where are you? And she goes back over and she kisses Josh. And then she goes to bed. I just think she's like a, like a sponge for fun. And there's all this fun happening and she'll just be like, stop having it. But she doesn't, just stays inside, like doesn't get released. She, she's treating this like it's the real world and it's not the real world. That's what I have an issue with. <laughs> Ava's still upset about the prospect of spending time in the naughty corner. And Benjamin is warning Michael about being too hard on her. It is coming across to everyone in here and will be for the outside that you look like you're some spoiled brat who's complaining because your friend's going to play with someone else. I'm not, yeah, I know that there, there, um, there may be an element of that, but I legitimately am... I've never been so bored of someone. She's so boring, and I know she's nice, but you're nice. I get everything I can get from her from you. And I get everything from her humour-wise from this wall. Offering me a compliment at a time where I'm giving you some constructive criticism just deflects what's really happening here and no. you need to be able to like her because she's actually really likeable I know, but and I she's know. really nice. I just don't think she deserves to be in here. Why do you get to be judge and jury over who gets All to be in here? All I can be is judge and jury of what I feel and I feel like everyone else is more interested. Fine, I'll give her a chance. No, just be respectful of yourself around her and still be open to the opportunity of being her friend but you can still hate her. I like just don't, I'm, I'm don't nice say to her. things like that. <laughs> Yeah. Nice. Thanks. Tonight's family dinner is being prepared by this week's nominees. How are you feeling after everything? Oh, what can you do, eh? 
and it's a French theme. Da, 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 da. Oh, beautiful. Looks you look magnifique with your red magnifique. lips. Okay, how can I help? Um, um, if you want to grab some plates and start plating up. Yep. This is Please. Big Brother. Yo. Chefs, as Big Brother reminded you in the diary room. Yes. Please ensure that your microphones are on the outside of your chef costumes. I think that was aimed at me. Yeah. Angie, Ava and Estelle are preparing Oysters Kilpatrick, a main of chicken cordon bleu, and for dessert, crepe Suzette. I'm so excited about these oysters. Are you? Yeah, they're going to oh be my so gosh. beautiful. While the others wait for dinner, Josh performs an Estelle-inspired rap. My name is Estelle and I bring hell. And if you catch me, then I might ring your bell. Yeah. <laughs> Estelle, you can't rap. Yeah, I can rap. Just go ask my cat. He said he likes chicken. What you think about that? I'll go to the factory to work every day. I know it ain't much, but it brings home the bacon. Yeah, I said bacon at my rat. So what you gonna do? Now look at my cat go. Meow, me, me, meow, me, meow, me, meow, me, meow, me, me, meow, me, me, meow, me, meow, me, meow, me, meow. Got my Lakers cap on backwards. I'm crazy, man. I'm crazy, man. It's a camouflage hat. It's got snapback. What? Yeah, sitting on the couch. Uh, what? It's made out of leather. It's not quite pleather. Got Stacy in front of me, y'all. Yeah, Brad, do a dance like that. Yeah, Brad, do a dance like the cat. Say meow, 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 Brad, man, get up off the floor. Dance with Stacy, man, real hardcore. Meow, 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 meow. Next, Sam's hunger strikes. Cat food, man. And sparks fly at family dinner. The Big Brother house is not a place for any of those jokes. To save Ava, call 1902 555 SMS Ava to 199 or vote on Facebook. Sam and Layla won today's captain's challenge, but when they entered the captain's quarters, they found it had been raided by pirates. So okay. hungry. Okay. Why did my mum not tell him what we're doing? Do you think he's not going to speak to us? This is the worst captain's quarter ever. Uh, do you think he might have one in here? Where? We've just got to find it. What, since when do you win a challenge and lose? Since we went on Big Brother, that's why. When? <laughs> Chocolates, fruit, cheese platter, movie. It's not even funny anymore. <laughs> Help! <laughs> Back in the house, the family dinner is in full swing. Nominees Angie, Ava and Estelle have prepared a French-themed dinner and topics have been submitted by the housemates for discussion. Our offensive jokes funny. Ooh. Let's start with Zoe's. If you're mates, if you're with a bunch of mates, like, I'm sorry, I'm from Warren. Small town, we tend to have, like, Pretty small minded views on people on the outside of it. Um, I could make you spit your beer everywhere with the jokes I could have, I have, that sort of thing. And I think it depends who you're with and around. And a lot of the time in the context, you might think it's racist, people might think it's racist. Half the time they, those races pay out themselves, like, you know, like, it's and that sort of thing. And it depends who you're with, what you're talking about. There's certain things that go too far. There is a certain type of joke that I don't find funny and that's like, I've heard a lot of Holocaust jokes and I don't find them funny at all. But people tell them and I'm like, okay, a bit sick. Bradley. Are offensive jokes funny? I think offensive jokes are hilarious. Because the, maju cause the maju majority of them are, are said for fun. So they're not meant in a hurtful way. It's to poke fun at something which, you know, is quite serious, which I think is a good thing. So, yeah, you know, um, 
I support, you know, offensive jokes completely, 100%. Can I say something? Earlier today, Michael told the story behind the most offensive joke he knew, which Estelle decided was racist. Something to Michael today when he was telling a joke that was... He wasn't telling a joke, he was, he was retelling a story at a time that he was told a joke. Just to clarify his defensive yeah, joke. Yeah, no. But I, I find, um, for me, particularly, there is a time and a place with everything, with the jokes. But I don't think jokes should particularly be at someone's expense, only really in the case of race. Like, I know that you weren't saying it was funny, you know, because it no, was, was race-based. You were yeah. saying the opposite. But yeah. I think there is always a forum, and I think a particular thing, like the Big Brother house, is not a place for any of those jokes. I think around the dinner table, at home, it's a little bit different. But I just think there is always a forum for them. But I'm, I'm really against jokes that are race-based. I know yeah. where you were coming from, and, but, I, I mean, I know I prefixed that with everything I needed to be... Here, here to me, the issue would be racism is the issue. Yeah. I think that's the key issue that you have a problem with. If racism didn't exist, would yeah. you have a problem with it? Well, I don't know. If you weren't aware of beer, would you want to drink it? No. No. So if we've got an issue which is racism, mm -hmm. and we are, we are, no one likes racism, no one wakes up in the morning and is like, yes, racism, I love yeah. being white. Being able to talk about the issue and mm -hmm. being able to prefix that statement with this is offensive, yeah. meaning that I don't like it. But yeah. being able to say, this is what it was, mm. let's now talk about and go, whoa, that was offensive. Which yeah. means I don't support anything to do with yeah, that. That was terrible. And then people go, that is terrible. Let's mm -hmm. not allow this to just be ignored. You could at least put baked beans there. In the captain's quarters, Sam and Layla settle down to a castaway dinner for two. Big brother, the can opener is broken. So I can't even eat the food that's here. <sighs> Starting to get like restless, eh? Hey? Layla's still full from eating lollies all morning, but because of the factory task, Sam missed out and is desperate for a decent feed. Oh my God, my hair looks like I've been dragged through a hedge. I, we actually look the part of, like I actually look the part of being stranded. Got my hair, look like a cave woman. It's cat food, man. Oh. <sighs> Big brother, we get the hint now. I don't know why we got the, why are we getting the hint? We're getting the hint that we don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> like, no, I, I do, big brother, but I'm just hungry. Oh, my hair's not a. You're supposed to give me products to pamper myself. Yeah. Not freaking take everything away from me in a night. I'm supposed to be having a bath. In that deep hand fried. I feel like I'm eating dog's vomit. Brother, why have you given us these bananas? It's not even funny. Oh my god. This is actually nice. Okay, what's the most valuable lesson you've learnt in the BB house? Today I learnt that I can be a bit of a sometimes, yes. without reason. Yeah. Um, and it's the first time that I've actually questioned how I act. Oh, what did you do? Just, Oh, no, no, it's just, a, just a, a, a bunch of events that have happened. Last night, Michael burned Layla's hair curlers in a secret mission of revenge from Surly. Just a quick question, Michael, because, I mean, just watching you be so quick to make sure it goes to Josh just makes me yeah. feel upset. I feel like I've been robbed of this awkwardness that you've created I love for the yourself. You know, and I think, what, what, what happened today, Michael? What was it? Basically, just, um, just maybe just a peppering of those incidents that's happened here today. Oh, well, take us through your day, Mike. Did you pepper me? No, oh, I assaulted you. No, just, you know, you guys know the way I speak, and I've gotten in trouble from Big Brother a couple of times about it, and oh, maybe that leads me to believe that the way I do things isn't right. And then he told me. What? Don't let the man get you down. <laughs> no, maybe the man has a point. Still to come, good intentions oh. go bad. Oh my god, you're on the wire! Stop, stop.
throwing food over. To save Estelle, call 1902-559505, SMS Estelle to 1995999 or vote on Facebook. At the weekly family dinner, housemates continue their discussion of the most valuable lesson they've learned in the Big Brother house. Probably just to um, realise that as I'm getting older, um, the things that were okay when I was younger and the ways that I dealt with confrontational, confrontational situations when I was younger isn't relevant. So, you know, when I was younger, 15, um, thought I was all that cool, living by myself, you know, in a dodgy part of town, fantastic. Um, you know, 21, probs not the probs same place, not probs not a. Um, I, one thing that I kind of had to really um, realise quick smart is that we live in a, a sort of vacuum in this house. And to live in a vacuum means to be somewhat devout of oxygen. <laughs> And any kind of um, princess complex that you may be harbouring, um, which I may to a degree be accustomed to on the outside. I have become accustomed to a certain way of being and a certain way of being treated. Um, and I, I love the idea and I relish the idea and the experience of just free falling and people getting to know me and experiencing things just in a, in a raw, organic kind of way without any favouritism or special treatment or people knowing me and treating me a certain way because they know that I'm, you know, they know me or they Who are you? something you are about me. Star, um, and you know what, it just reminds Who me... Who are you? You know what, you these, of Abu Dhabi? <laughs> these, these moments remind me simply this, that I am alive and I love it. One thing I know to be true is that we're incredibly inquisitive. Drop a bomb, maybe a question. People are going to keep asking you until you tell us the answer. Is there something that you are not telling us? I consider myself rather a transparent person. If you have a question to ask me, ask me and I'll tell you flat out the what The question the was, is. is there something different to you that makes you have some kind of Status. I may, I may enjoy a, a certain sense of entitlement or status in my parts of the world um, and not other parts. Okay. And that is what I'm Jeez. referring to. Um, I, I'm, to, I'm, to okay, I'm talking, like, if we're going to talk about nuts and bolts, it's about my profession and social hierarchy. That's what it would refer to. Are you famous? Like, are you famous? In another country. Not in, in another country, or do you have, have you acquired some fame here in I Australia? I may be famous in another country other than there Australia. There we go. No, but I'm not famous. Like, like don't, I don't want to put that out there. How much like, time do you no. spend outside of Australia? I don't, I don't seek out the limelight. I actually really loathe it. I don't, I don't have an appreciation for it, and I don't, I don't really want but that to be what I'm about But you're on a, a reality about, TV yeah. show, Ava. That yeah. the whole of Australia is watching. Mm -hmm. So there's got to be an element of limelight. Yeah, but I haven't really been conscious of cameras and people looking at me mm. at all, like, mm. since I walked in. I've just been trying to get to know you guys yeah. and be here with you, mm. and that's what I want the focus to be. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. While Ava, Angie and Estelle tidy up, the other housemates head to the lounge to await dessert. Dinner was absolutely beautiful, ladies. Almost as beautiful as you three. Thanks, Bradley. That's You're the right. best. Thank you for your uh, story. I'll say this to you. Um, you can say that to them or whatever. Um, what is it? Prior to coming to the house, I, I love my life. I do love my life. And I had everything to look forward to. I was mm -hmm. recording my own songs, mm -hmm. um, writing, um, and was due to go... And is this in Australia or is this uh -huh. overseas? Yeah. No. Um, doing collaborations internationally, like mm -hmm. on the download. I can't talk about it. Okay. It's not because there's anything sinister. It's because you can't talk about well, it. Well, I can't right? talk about it. There's legalities like involved. I and can't it would jeopardise myself as a recording yeah. artist. Mm -hmm. um, so especially you are when recording. things haven't been signed. Okay. 
Back in the captain's quarters, Layla and Sam struggle with living on spam, baked beans and canned spinach. Look at this red oh, combination. Shh, shh. Guys! Layla! Sam, Layla! What? What? It is. What? Layla! Yeah? Layla, I miss you. Are you okay? Yes, thank you. Are you dying? Have you eaten? No. You're sleeping on hammocks. Have you not eaten anything? No. Oh, my God. I want to kiss you. I'm sorry. Guys, we are trapped outside with no food, no drink, no yeah, nothing. <laughs> We've got tin spam and bruised fruit. The housemates have taken pity on them and have a care package at the ready. Is that watermelon? Oh, did you get the bread? <laughs> what are you doing? What is it? <laughs> oh, an orange. Thank you! Estelle has decided to look after Layla and Sam with a fry-up of some leftover chicken, but not everyone's happy with Estelle cooking the extra food. I grabbed the chicken and said, use the chicken. Like, it's a team effort. If you want to do it, then you can no, do it. No, I was it. just helping. I just, you know, I, a little bit of team sharing is, is good. Yeah, it's chocolate. I'm, <laughs> I'm hungry. We're hungry and we need a drink to survive. At least we know where it's coming from. Chocolate. Ow! <laughs> Stop throwing food over. It's going in the pool. That's when in the pool. Stop throwing food. <laughs> the cooked chicken has been placed in Tupperware and wrapped for easy transportation. Throwing us thing. Hurry up! I'm lonely and hungry. Can't believe the chocolate. Oh, it's coming it. now. Ready? Over that yeah. way. Chicken is coming. What? Throw. Oh my god, you're the worst! <laughs> you are the Brita of Give me this. Class. Give it to me. You, you need to throw it on Be the man. You are a rock. If you if you climb yeah, up there, we need to double bag it. Stop it, we need to triple bag it. it. Like we need to triple bag it. Like it. Triple bag it. <laughs> Stop! Still to come, Ava to the naughty corner. Big brother, I'm really, really sorry about what I did. And Benjamin to the doghouse. <laughs> I'm a six-foot man inside a dog's kennel. To save Angie, call 1902 559501, SMS Angie to 199 or vote on Facebook. Layla and Sam are stranded in the ransacked captain's quarters, and after two failed attempts at throwing them a hot meal package, Benjamin is ready to give it one last go. You better aim it right. Desiree, come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Angie's not finished. She's throwing cutlery as well. Are you mental? <laughs> what was that? Ow! Didn't you get the fork? Yeah, in my eye. <laughs> Do not throw that. Okay. Thank you! Yeah. Oh, my God. oh, it looks like sick. <laughs> oh my God, that freaked me out when she threw that fork. I like had an anxiety attack. It's hot, they must have just made it. What is it? Chicken. Oh my God. They're so cute. Thank you! How cute are they? I can't believe they tripped up away and take it over. <laughs> that was a really heavy thing to throw. Oh, I know. I can't believe they did that. <laughs> I can't believe it's they hot. It's it hot like, as well. Yeah, I know, they must have just cooked it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so funny. <laughs> did they just try and pick the biggest one they could find? <laughs> These Tupperware tubs that are like this big. It's quite nice. Guys? Yes? I love you. What? I love you. Was the food delicious? Amazing. Amazing. Yes. I'm happy. Mm. 
This is Big Brother. Big Brother! Housemates. Hello. Don't even think about throwing dessert. <laughs> I don't have any dessert. No, they must be over there cooking us dessert. <gasps> to give money to charity. This is Big Brother. Hi. Ava. Earlier, you were speaking without your microphone. Oh, she's going to flip. That's a breach of the house rules. <laughs> no. Report to the naughty corner. Uh, she's going to lose it. She's on her last thread. We need to go help. She'll be right. <laughs> I'm going in. <laughs> this is going to be horrible. Hi, big brother. I Look at that skrilla. Delana. 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 Ava. It's Big Brother. Big Brother needs his small change collection counted. Yeah. Sure. When you have arrived at a total, call it out loud. Oh. You okay. may not leave the naughty corner until Big Brother is satisfied. That's hard. No worries. Ah, count change is easy. That is all. Just yeah. make, just make right. a $2 pile and then just stack them up. Dirty. Equal them. Yeah. Just, um, just let her do it. Don't sit and watch her. Yeah. Oh, she's, she's Count up Count the stack. Count stacks. Five, like a, a two or three or four dollars. And then you can just grab a bunch and then just stack them up without counting them. And then see that they level up and know that one pile is your control pile. And then just do piles next to that. So what do you mean like piles of a dollar? Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be a lot of money. We're going to leave you to it because we don't want to make you feel like you're in a zoo. But we love you. P.S. You really are in a zoo. I know. I'm going to say that's easy over $100. That's easy. easy. I said 200 Hi. Do you want me left alone? I don't care, it's up to you. No, it's not. But... I think silence is golden. I'm just gonna stick to that. Yep, cool. This is Big Brother. Housemates. There's been some other naughty behaviour tonight. Angie and Benjamin. Throwing food over the walls is very naughty indeed. No, it's not. It's caring. Report to the doghouse. You were to stay in the doghouse until further notice. What's the doghouse? Is it the actual doghouse? As in the kennel? The doghouse is the house for the dog. <laughs> <laughs> two people fit in there. Yeah, two people fit. Ben? The worst. <laughs> the waste okay, of the waste gonna, of the waste. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the fur rug thing on the ground. Okay, I can't go in first because I'm claustrophobic. Okay, I'll go in I first. I will lose my mind. <laughs> okay. I just started to I feel... Look at that. Okay, can I just make it pretty first, okay? Yes, yeah, yeah. Okay. Let me just make it comfortable. Oh my God, it's, it's tiny. I need you to know this now. Oh. oh my God, this is so dark in here. Oh, Ben. Okay, where's your pillow? And the slug will go on top of us. Are you going, are we all gonna fit in there? That looks like. Okay, Benjamin. <laughs> I have to take off my top because I'm starting to overheat. Oh I'm, my god! I get ben, claustrophobic. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Actually, no way. <laughs> Big brother, I'm claustrophobic. I can't go in there. Come on! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> What's happening? Oh my god. 
Really? <laughs> I knew we got the dog for a reason. <laughs> That's the worst thing ever. Oh my god. <laughs> this can't be good for my posture. <laughs> Please, big brother, please let me out. Please, 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 please let me out. Big brother, can you hear me? Have you forgotten about me? Ava. Yes, big brother. Big brother would never forget a housemate. <laughs> big brother! You can't even see me! I <laughs> down a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Is that better? It's, is it comfy at least? That's really comfy. Oh, yeah. I've never been so comfortable. <laughs> I'm a six foot man inside a dog's kennel. Next, has hair roller culprit Michael been sprung? Just quickly, we still haven't found out about my loose rollers. To save Ava, call 1902 559515, SMS Ava to 199 or vote on Facebook. Angie and Benjamin are in the doghouse for throwing food over the wall to the captain's quarters, and Benjamin is feeling claustrophobic. I once got caught in an elevator when I was on Year 11 excursion, and then I wouldn't go in elevators for years. So do you know what my mum did? My mum tricked me into going to Maya in the city so that I would ride the elevators to go up to the toy shop. Yes, that's right. I was in Year 11 and wanted to go to the toy shop. Whatever. It's not important. Was it to get Jurassic Park Anyways, it was to get Jurassic Park figures. Mum gets me in the elevator, and do you know what happens when I get in the elevator? What? It doesn't work. Oh, so she's like, I'm so sorry. And then I'm like, that's right, that's why, Mum, I have not been in elevators for a very long time. When and then, then now you know. I don't like elevators, and every time I get in them I freak out. Oh, and I particularly yeah. don't like to feel like I'm stuck in one particular position for too long. And I've been going to the gym a lot, so my muscles have expanded. <laughs> And I also find that like being in this position is freaking me out. I can oh feel God, like in my stomach. Nice. Don't worry, I'm gonna snap you back into it. This is not healthy. Ava's still in the naughty corner and she's feeling the pinch. Hmm? You look hot in your Uggs and your shirt. Sorry? You look hot. Well, if you're ever interested in getting married, we can go to Vegas. <gasps> There's a solution. <laughs> Problem solved. What happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. <laughs> I just think I was really happy that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> There's moths in here. Big brother. We love you. <laughs> Just quickly, we still haven't found out about Layla's rollers. I think Sam did it. I think mm. it was a challenge. I think Possible. he did it. I think it's, and I think it's awkward. Because it would be the opposite thing. I think you probably saw them. You probably had to destroy something of someone's. Saw them next to Zoe's bed, thought that was Zoe's and set fire to them. <sighs> this is Big Brother. Angie and Benjamin. You're free to leave the doghouse. Oh, thank oh God. God. Yay. So sorry, Angie. That was the worst companion ever. That was okay, babe. <sighs> oh. Oh. <laughs> I can't move. Ow, something's biting my leg. Change my mind. Oh. Oh, that's what the world looks like. Yes, the kookaburra thinks it's very funny. I concur. My goodness. I'm, I'm so sorry, stretched. big brother. I'm sorry, big brother. We tried to do the right thing. <laughs> You're always going to remember that, and you're going to be like, I was in that kettle with Benjamin, and he is claustrophobic and could not even speak. <laughs> and be like, he's a freak. I've never actually seen you so quiet. I'm putting Delilah to bed. Hey, babe. Yeah? Some of those coin piles aren't even. 
Not fun. Not fun. Estelle, earlier, Angie and Benjamin were sent to the doghouse for some naughty behaviour. Yes. Big Brother noticed that they found that quite amusing. Yes, they did. Whereas Ava has not seen the funny side whatsoever. Not so much. Why do you think that is? I don't know. I guess maybe it's just a different sort of disposition. Um, Benjamin and Angie have been in the house much longer time than Ava. Um, speaking for myself, I'd probably find either task hilarious, but I find everything hilarious. Um, maybe it's just it's not Ava's thing. Or, you know, she's only been here two weeks, so she's probably not starved for entertainment like a lot of us and um, probably doesn't find it too fun to be in the naughty corner when she could indeed be snuggling with Josh. You can't take it too seriously, otherwise it, it does become um, a bit much in here. Have you impressed this tactic upon Ava? Um, I'm trying to. <laughs> Getting her to dance and distracting her, and you're probably going to keep her in there longer because of how much ridiculous kind of, um, you know, singing and dancing I'm getting her to do. But, yeah, I'm trying to impart my stupid sense of humour onto Ava because I think that it will help. <laughs> I think laughing is the best medicine. Ava. Yes, Big Brother. What does Big Brother's change come to? $85? Hmm. Not quite enough for that new microphone Big Brother has his eye on. For this evening, Big Brother is satisfied. Thank you, Big Brother. You may leave the naughty corner. Thanks, Big Brother. Thank you very much. Dream World, the home of Big Brother.